はい、えー、とそれではですね、えー、海洋研究 3D スイーパーサイエンスプロジェクトと題しまして、えー、こちらの方でセッションを開始させていただきたい。Title of this session. We would like to start. And I will serve as a moderator for this session. And I'm in charge of Japanese enterprise and education market in Wacom. My name is Kakui. Thank you very much. So, first of all,、uh, we would like to invite participants and panelists for this session. Yoshimoto san and Uno san, please come up to the stage. Thank you very much for your participation today. So, first of all, we would like to have their self introduction. Mr. Yoshimoto, first, please. Thank you for the introduction. I'm from Japan 3D Education Association.、Uh, my name is Yoshimoto. I'm the chairperson of this organization. And also, I'm representing Yoshimoto Art Factory. and In the, the Ocean and Japan project, Ocean Research 3D Super Science Project of the Nippon Foundation. For this project, I'm serving as a producer. And my name is Daiki Yoshimoto. Thank you very much. And what I usually do is to focus on 3D education. And however, mainly I make 3D data. And particularly, Uh, manga and animation figure making and plastic model design. The so called 3D modeler is my occupation. And also, full color 3D printer. Probably you haven't seen this so much. And now the, the full color 3D printer is available. And I'm very much focusing on the modeling expression. By using 3D printer, and I would like to show you my works. Some of my works. This is Dying b o o and actually, this is based on a full color 3D printer based、uh, ones. And Mimaki Engineering, that's a Japanese manufacturer, and more than 10, 000, 10 million colors are possible on 3D. The coloring on 3D、uh, is printed as it is. It's very dreamlike technology, and there is such a company in Japan. And in the full color 3D printer area, Japan is the most advanced country. And next, this is Katsushika Hokusai's the painting of the phoenix that glares in all directions.、Uh, this is in Nagano, Gansho in Temple. And it's a, a ceiling picture. And Bone Digital, the CZ World publisher, Bone Digital is a partner for me. And、uh, I made the following artworks.、Uh, this is also printed by full color 3D printer of Mimaki Engineering. I didn't paint at all. On data, I colored. Then that、uh, work is printed as they are. So the 3D technology in this way has become very much advanced. So I would like to talk about it in more detail later. Thank you very much. Next. Mr. Uno, please, please introduce yourself. And thank you very much. I'm engaged in ocean、uh, business in Japan and overseas at the Nippon Foundation. My name is、uh, Uno. And、uh, Yoshimoto san、uh, is a leader in 3D technology and also the, the with Wacom. We are collaborating. And、uh, I'm honored to be invited to this session. This is a great opportunity. So I was very much looking forward to this opportunity. And、next slide, please.、Uh, let me briefly explain about our projects that we are implementing. And、uh, I'm engaged in an ocean affairs department, and this is a network that we have.、Uh, the right side shows overseas, and、uh, left side shows domestic networks. And this is just a part of、uh, the network that we have. And in both in Japan and overseas, The creators like you and people from companies and the government and local municipalities, research institute, and also media, NPO, 
people. We are collaborating with these different types of people for our project. And we are covering almost all marine uh, business areas. So worldwide human resource development and also in the environmental area, uh, ocean plastic issue, ocean acidification, and also unmanned vehicles at sea and uh, hydrogen powered zero emission vehicles and also the uh, activities for marine disasters and local sea folk tales and uh, culture related to seas for Japanese. In these wide range of areas, we have uh, businesses and operations. And we have a uh, uh, ocean and Japan project and there are many issues that need to be solved in the ocean. And we are focusing on people related to the sea. And now, now the Japanese young people are losing interest in the sea. And according to our research, the uh, affinity to the sea, uh, more than 40% of the teenagers uh, don't have an interest in the sea. And also more than 40% of the teenagers have not visited the beach at all over the last one year. So the relationship between the sea and people uh, is less and less. So although there are many issues related to the sea, however, we don't have a, a path to solve those issues. And this is happening not only in Japan, but also in the US and Europe. Uh, this is what I'm hearing. So anyway, Japan is surrounded by the sea and uh, as a Japanese, uh, the ocean preservation and also the development of the ocean, uh, what we need to address. And I think there should be a solution for solving those issues. So uh, getting people and the sea closer is necessary and we need to take actions for coexistence and for this purpose we are now implementing the ocean and japan project and so far nationwide uh, at, at more than 3,000 sites we have implemented events and more than 1 million people have participated in those events and more than 10,000 companies are collaborating with us and product development and others. We have a wide range of uh, initiatives in this project. And uh, this is one of the largest type of platform of this kind in the world. And we are collaborating with 47 prefectures and we have a network of a lot of municipalities. So this is a nationwide activity. And there is a map of Japan and there are media company names here. So we have a network with local uh, broadcasting companies and uh, we are sending information through this network. And one of the theme uh, for this is uh, marine education. And uh, Ocean and Japan project is attended mostly by children. So the marine education for kids, that's our focus. So for children, the greatness of sea should be communicated. And also we hope that uh, children uh, takes the leadership and the ownership of the issues to be solved for the uh, marine issues. And so all programs are intended to nurture children who develop their interest in the ocean. And from uh, kindergarten to the high school, we are covering uh, the students with this program. In order to uh, carry out this program, the interest in marine life is very high among some super kids. And we discovered those children. So in order to support Japan in the marine area, we would like to develop those children. That's the seamless program that support up to high school and uh, higher education. Uh, art and history, science, sports, food and health, and uh, ocean are connected to all these different areas so that we can cover wide range through this education. So we are collaborating with companies in different world and different industries to develop this program.
And 3D Super Science Project is one of these projects that we are implementing. And also, the other different types of detailed projects. This is about creative infographic experts by marine research. Such a collaboration uh, project is ongoing. And also the next one is this one, Marine Challenge Program. This is so-called uh, marine area and water environmental area research are challenged by uh, some students, 239 teams of junior high and high school students, about 1,000 students are participating in the competition. Uh, this, com this has continued for the last three and four years, and every year this is held from the local competition to the nationwide competition uh, th uh, the th through this program. Uh, we would like to in, in stimulate the interest to the uh, marine areas uh, that this program is now ongoing. Just one example. There was a junior high school female student. She really liked Namako. And when you surprise that sea cucumber, and when the internal organ comes out, it's quite sticky. So she was thinking about whether the sticky part could be used as a glue. We heard opinions from various people, professors, and they said that she's going to be the greatest researcher for sea cucumber in the future. That's what people said about her. So these students, in 10 years or so, regardless of disciplinary, we hope that they will be active in their respective fields. And this 3D project, this is focused on people or human resources. This will be introduced later on as well, so I would like to briefly talk about what we are working on right now. Thank you, unna -san. I heard this for the first time and I also want to keep pursuing looking into this study about sea cucumber. Thank you. So Yoshimoto-san, experience in the ocean or moving opportunities, this Ocean and Japan project, part of as a part of the project by collaborating with the specialists, this 3D super science project was born. And this year, for the junior high school students in the Kanto area, 3D professionals who can use 3D data and who can utilize the data to make outputs, etc., to nurture those professionals is the object of this project. At the Ocean Study site, the 3D technologies are utilized like for example, CT or scanning those type of technology. By learning those technology, they will be learning about the 3D technology. That is the project conducted. By studying about the marine lives, there should be various people who will be able to study on various fields. So there is a video that I want to introduce for about two minutes. Please look at the video. So this time, ranging for six months for a total of nine junior high school students, we gathered those who are interested in marine lives or those who are interested in, in 3D and other technologies. This is a project for them to learn about various things through teaching about 3D and the marine life. Those participating in this project can of course specialize in marine life and can also learn about 3D technologies. So I think it is indeed a valuable project. 
So I hope that great resources can be developed through this project. At Nippon Foundation, by conducting this project titled The Ocean in Japan, we want all children in Japan to be familiarized, to familiarize themselves with the sea. In particular, this Ocean Research, Research 3D Super Science project is a project which brings together the sea, which is the origin of lives, and the 3D technology, which is one of the most advanced scientific technology. When I was a junior high school student, I wasn't at all as good as these children. Those children participating in this project already have their own dreams and saying that it is, this is why they are doing to, going to be doing this or have already been taking actions for that purpose. So if they learn about 3D at some point in the future for work or research or in various fields, I feel that I will be working together with them. So it was really an exciting experience. Thank you so much. So that was the entrance ceremony. So why we thought of starting this 3D project? I believe you know about STEM education or STEAM education. STEM education is for science, technology, engineering, and art and M for mathematics. So this is an education model covering all these. In the United States or other countries, these education curriculums have been promoted all over the world. And we believe that this is a focus. Actually, the STEAM, STEM education in Japan is becoming more and more prosperous in Japan as well. As part of that, programming education started, and after that, we believe the 3D programming or 3D education is going to be starting. The motivation is becoming stronger, and this project if the children were to touch 3D printers at an early stage, not just to learn about the 3D printers, but by utilizing the technology that is used for research, the potential of the 3D printers, the children will be able to learn about that. So the 3D education, what's the difference between Japan and other countries in the world? Actually, in China, in 2018, 400,000 pupils in the, in the primary schools in China, the 3D printers will be distributed. In Japan, some private schools do have 3D printers, but public schools do not have 3D printers. That is because there are no teachers who can teach about 3D printers in Japan. In Japan, Actually, the 3D printer was said to be first developed by a Japanese person, so there were times like that. But the technology in other countries have advanced further. So through our project, we want to further expand the 3D project in our country. Thank you. STEM education and the 3D education, the importance of that I have understood well enough. So this 3D education with Marine as a team, the Ocean in Japan project, why is it that you are trying connecting these two? You can see the slides. Actually, the 3D technology is used for conducting studies for marine lives. What that means is that but before that, there's something that I want to talk to you about. Probably you are wondering what this is. This is called a skeletal specimen, Mimaki Engineering. This, has, this is an output of a full color 3D printer. You say full color, but it can also be transparent in some parts. The 3D printers can print 
output both the transparent part and the skeleton part. So how to create this data? You can take the 3D data and scan that. That's one way to do. But for this purpose, we went to the National Museum of Science and Nature and Science, and we took the skeletal specimen and we conducted so much research on the model and created this 3D model. Actually, monozukuri or manufacturing, creating the objectives, there is great affinity between the two. So this time we were asked to conduct the research on sperm whales and to what extent we could conduct the research. Actually, we have to show it in a form. So the posture to conduct the research that is going to be really strong. So to learn about the marine lives, I believe there's great affinity between the two. So we created this 3D specimen. This is very small, so it's hard to see, but there is this bone called pervic trace. And initially I wondered what it means, but when reading about the whales, there are many of those pervic traces. This is a remaining part of the whales when they used to walk in for, with four, using four legs. So I believe that that is very close to what they are. Thank you very much. So uh, investigation, researching and manufacturing are combined and Mr. Uno and from Mr. Yoshimoto proposed this idea and uh, what did you feel about it? And the uh, pelvic traces, normally uh, people don't know it. So it, it, this story was very unique to Yoshimoto-san. And 3D printing uh, is introduced for this project and uh, this, uh, this uh, sperm a whale is a trigger for my idea and Yoshimoto-san talked about this story to me and I was very interested in this story and when we think about children they are our iPhone since they were born so if they ask to the phone then the answer comes back and they can search everything that they want to search so they get information only through other people without their own experiences. So uh, there are abundance of such information for children and that is not uh, satisfactory. So I searched for a new way for marine education and then I get to know this uh, sperm whale. And Yoshimoto-san investigate thoroughly and I think that uh, such an experience could be a power for children so that uh, 3D and the marine education collaboration, this idea came to my mind and the AI and virtual world were uh, evolving more and more. Then also in, at the same time, the balance between virtual and real uh, will become more and more important. So for this project, the advanced technology of 3D and the researches and action. So these are well balanced in this project, I think. Thank you very much. And when I heard about this, I was very excited to hear this and I wanted to participate in this. And from Fe September, this started, right? Yes. Now the courses are provided. And yesterday, uh, up to 11 o'clock at night, the question came from a student and I taught about 3D and there are some uh, students who are very much interested in the ocean and the ex marine experts are assigned for them so that these students are engaged in their research. And I would like to show one, two of the participants. And uh, Hagiwara-san, Hagiwara-san, who is living in Guma Prefecture that don't have sea and uh, behind him, there is a 
magnificent aquarium, and uh, he's having his own research on marine life. And uh, do you know what this is? This is a boat game for fishery. The Kuroshio meandering current uh, is depressing the marine fishery industry. So in order to reactivate fishing industry, he created his own board game. And uh, he's one of the project member for making that board game. And next, Sugimoto-san. Uh, he also likes the sea very much in Wakawa Prefecture. Uh, Okistoma, a new species of jellyfish, was discovered by him together with his brother. And he's making a paper to describe it. And the jellyfish uh, is floating, so the current is necessary for uh, nurturing a jellyfish. He made the current in his tank by himself, and he is writing a paper based on that experience. And also, he also started a 3D activity. Uh, the entry sheet, he explained about this, and Avacom's pen tablet is used by him, and he made the modeling, and that data is what we saw. So he's uh, uh, very much engaged in the ocean and the 3D, and the chemical reaction between these uh, student and others is also what we are uh, looking forward to. It's great. Uh, is he really a junior high school student? And they are quite great. And Mr. Uno, uh, what's your expectation on those students? Well, this level is extraordinarily high, so probably the classes at school might be boring for them. And maybe uh, they don't have a common conversation theme with their friends, so probably they don't need a normal school anymore. Uh, that's my impression. So they study on their own more and more. So they already understand uh, very basics for the school. So maybe schools are no longer necessary for them. And so they, if they want to spend their school time for others, probably uh, they should be engaged in what they like from high school days. And currently, the online schools of online high schools have been already established. So if they can do what they like only for 10% of the, his, their time, that is not uh, uh, fruitful for them. And this program provides experiences that cannot be help, have uh, that not, that cannot be given at school so uh, well, i'm very much looking forward to see their development from now on so i think these students are not satisfactory with the current ordinary schools and mr yoshimoto in this project i think you have uh, very strong supporters Right? Yes, I would like to introduce them. Uh, Wacom is one of our sponsors. And for modeling, pen tablet is mandatory for 3D industry. So if you would like to start 3D, and this is my pen, pen tablet of Wacom, and please ma make use of the pen tablet. And 3D users are using this mostly, I think. So 3D industry, it's supported by these companies in Japan. Mimaki is one of them, and uh, they are also supporting this project. So in Japan, this is one of the unprecedented projects in Japan, actually. And Wacom, thank you very much. Uh, Wacom is supporting, we would like to support this project continuously, and not just for this project, but also in other areas we think we can help. So based on this Connected Inc. event, I would like to, I hope that uh, we can deepen relationship with your organization. Thank you very much. And specifically, uh, junior high school students, what they are doing in the project. Uh, 3D and the ocean, how they learn. 
So first of all, the research is a major theme. But it start to, it's difficult to start a research in, in, so that uh, basic knowledge are given. The marine, basic marine research and basic marine ecology and the basic marine research is given on the first day, how to write a paper and what should be appropriate structure of the paper. So the paper-based uh, class was given. So it's a um, university level uh, class was given. And also junior high school students uh, haven't touched on CT scan and laser scan, so, but uh, such as 3D scan technology and animation, 3D printer usage are taught so the 3D model, uh, we hope that they will make a 3D model of their interest uh, items. So what's your impression? I think I, it's too much for me to observe, probably. Uh, my impression is the same. I think that uh, I would give up. It's a hard program, but these are quite interesting for those students who like these themes. So the, the doctoral uh, level uh, uh, information is some uh, what some kids have. So the now the what is different between adults and children? I think the difference is uh, experience. So real experience is the only difference. And uh, for school education, the experience-based education is given by only 20% of the schools nationwide. So in Japan, the, this ratio is that low. And in real world experience at school uh, should be increased so that the 3D project can be supported. Uh, so that uh, synergetic effect uh, can be expected. That's my hope. And in the future, the experience can also be done in a virtual manner. That's what I am also expecting on. So you can see further expansion here, I believe. So the three models in actuality, can you really create 3D models easily? So what a person needs to start 3D modeling. Here we call this 3D modeling three sacred devices or treasures. Firstly, personal computers or Wacom pen tablets or 3D softwares. The 3D softwares to create 3D data that will be needed. So how to create a 3D model? Firstly, you have to collect the materials. This is something that I actually gathered for the whales. I have extracted some of them and by using the three devices, you will work on 3D modeling. And after that, we'll be printing out using the 3D printer. And with this process, the 3D model is actually created. So the actual 3D modeling, please look at how it is, it is actually done. What do you think? What will be made from here? If you could think about it and look at this. If you have Wacom's pen tablet, like touching clays, this is a technology called Sculpt. So like a clay, you can create 3D models and you can output from a 3D printer. So that's really the advantage of 3D modeling. So now I think you have an idea on what this is. Right now, creating the eye part. Firstly, you have to gather all the materials to get the information. Unless you go through the right process, you won't be able to create the right 3D model. So conducting research or studying, we are asking the children to also work on this part as well in the project. So now getting close to being completed. This is a model it took about 40 minutes, but we are shortening that by 16 times or so. 
so it's like the way that you create these kind of models by using clays. So probably you know what this is. Actually, in the 3D class on um, Marines, this was done in the classroom for the ichthyology basics. Actually, on the pictorial books, you first see the real first type of fish, and at the end, you will see globe fish. So please check that on your pictorial books as well. That is because the shape of this needle-like is an evolution of the surface of the fish. Actually, glowfish is really the advanced or the result of the evolution. So I hope that you will look at that in the pictorial book. So now it's completed. So it's definitely a glowfish. So now a glowfish is being made. And next, the 3D printer, how it is actually working, you will be model layer by layer. And now I have taken video of the 3D printer actually working. This is a process to create a small whale. So as you can see, the 3D printers layer by layer, piling up the layer gradually and forming the shape. This technology that you have just seen, how this is to be utilized in the marine research, I am interested in that. The 3D technology is used in various fields. Actually, it has affinity with other areas as well, holotypes. When a new species were to be discovered, a holotype or a specimen will be made. Actually, those, these specimen, you have to go to see where it was discovered. But if this were to be made by 3D, it will be helping so much it will be helpful so much for the research, researchers. So the professors, the researchers in the University of Tokyo are currently working on this. And the 3D data archives, this is something that we are working on as an initiative to utilize this for study or this data becoming an asset for study or to be used in other various purposes. That could be what the 3D data can be. So right now, Actually, the shape or form of the fish, that is also a data. And with the 3D data, it should be as accurate as a photo. So we think this data or technology can also be utilized. Thank you. So time flies. We're getting close to the end of our session. But lastly, this super science project, the outlook for that and any other projects that the Nippon Foundation is thinking about, it would be great if you could introduce some of them. Unno-san, please. So this project, what we're expecting most from this project is that the children working on research or studies or creating 3D models, through these activities, all the living creatures on Earth, we want the children to get rid of all the fixed type of image they have to the living creatures in on the earth. Like when you think about cow or ox, you think about bull matches and you might think as though these oxes will be rushing in when they see red colors. But actually, they're just moving into something that's move, moving. And also, for the
moles. Actually, they're looking for living creatures, but actually what they're doing is, um, unless they're searching for insects, they're just staying in their holes. So through these 3D projects, I hope that they will understand all those various aspects. Actually, about the living the lives in the sea, the human being only knows about 10% of them. So the remaining 90% to know about them, we hope that the children would also participate in studying those marine creatures as well. So it is a great project. So Yoshimoto-san, I talked about many things today, but this 3D technology has not permeated that much yet. Some of the researchers have not been able to utilize 3D technology yet. So by using the 3D technology and working on their research, I would want the children participating in these projects to be able to do that. Thank you. Yoshimoto-san and Uno-san, and thank you for those participating from the venue or those participating online. Thank you very much for that. We would like to end this session. Actually, the project itself, there will be, we should be working on this project going forward as well. So we don't know whether we have an opportunity next year, but the progress of this project, we hope there will be some updates on that and would like to invite the children next time. So thank you very much once again. Time has come, so would like to end this session. Thank you very much for viewing this or attending this session today.